Hi everyone, it's Denise back with Keto with Denise and today I want to talk to you about how to stay the course on your keto journey. I talk to a lot of people on a regular basis. Some actually do struggle on their keto journey and you know, you can, um, you can make this work for you. I understand the struggle. So I want to help you get over those times where you feel like you want to revert back to old ways of eating and behaviors. So these pointers are very, while they may be minor, they're very powerful indeed. So let's get started. Number one, think about your why. Remember your why. Why do you need to improve your health? Why do you need to lose this weight? Whatever it is, whatever your why is, think about that why. I know I was out of control, binge eating on sugar like it was crazy and found myself just looking at myself and hearing as you guys have probably heard in the other videos, I was looking for peanut M&Ms on the floor thinking I'd spill them out because I'd eaten the bag so fast and I heard God say that I was out of control and I heard the word addiction. So I knew that if I didn't change the way that I was doing and going about this, I was going to have some major health issues. So my why was to revert from high blood pressure medicine that I've been on for 16 years and the fact that I was steadily gaining weight and my health was declining. So I knew that I had to make that change. So remember your why, what's going to catapult you to stay the course. Okay. Number two, I want you to not focus on the scale. A lot of people weigh in every day hoping to see a pound or two. Don't worry about the scale. It's going to catch up. Trust me. I want you to think about how you feel since you cut out the sugar, started your keto and intermittent fasting journey. How do you feel now? How are your clothes fitting? I always go, and this is a little tip for you ladies out there. Maybe you guys will take this tip too. Every Monday I go into my closet and I find a clothing item that I know is too small. I know it's too small. Sometimes it won't even come up past my knees, let alone over my thighs and my hips and butt. But every Monday I'll go into that closet and try that item of clothing on. And guess what? After a while, it's moving past my knees. It's getting past my thighs. It's coming over my butt. Before you know it, I've zipped and buttoned that thing and I'm wearing it. And after a while, it's gotten too big too. So find those momentums uh, that's going to push you through so it'll encourage you even though the scale may not be saying what you expect it to say. So put the scale aside, focus on how you feel and how your clothes are fitting, okay? Number three, Prep your favorite go-to foods. This is very important to have the keto-friendly foods at your, within your reach. A lot of times people are falling off the course because they're hungry and there's nothing in front of them. So they grab something that's not keto-friendly and it's just, obviously, it's making the, the course a little bit more difficult than it should be. On, the, on a weekly basis, I'm going to prep a huge salad. I love salad, that's just my thing. Whatever you love, whatever your favorite go-to foods are, prepare that so that it's within reach. I put an airtight uh, lid on that salad bowl and I can make that salad work every day of the week for me with a different uh, protein or meat or whatever I wanna add to it or no meat sometimes. So try that because when you're hungry, you got something that's already prepared, you can enjoy it and keep it moving, okay? So make sure you do that. Number four, educate, educate, educate. It is so important that you educate yourself on the benefits of keto and intermittent fasting. If you are a Keto with Denise member, you already know inside that membership portal, we take you through critical knowledge points that you need to know. And these things, I mean, really encourage and, and propel you in your journey. So make sure you educate yourself on keto and intermittent fasting so that you understand the changes that are happening on the inside long before they present themselves on the outside, okay? So educate yourself. And keep watching these videos on my channel too because that's my goal is to educate you. Number five, 
own your keto journey. This is your health journey. Nobody else's. You've got to own this. You've got to stay present in the moment, actually planning what you're going to eat, thinking about how your body needs to change. Now, this is not a 24 seven uh, hours a day kind of thing where you're thinking about nothing else, but you are consciously aware of what you're putting in your body. You are consciously aware of how you are applying the tools and techniques of this journey. This is a lifestyle. This is not a diet. This is not a temporary endeavor. It is a lifestyle. So how you plan your life is going to present back to you those results. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hi, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And by the way, click the bell too, so that you'll be notified when there's new content like this. Thank you again for watching.